All right, what's that, Coyer? Back again with a video from the channel, and today we are back with a Dragon Ball Legends video. And today they'll be using buffed LF Goku and Frieza, but not in the way of the fact that they got a new unique equipment. They didn't get a Zenkai Awakening because that would be ridiculous if they got a Zenkai Awakening already, and that never happens. But they actually did get buffed in the sense that they actually went into their kit and actually buffed up certain things. So, for instance, Goku didn't draw a card on his green card beforehand. Now he can do that up to two times, which is very, very good because now his green card actually has combo ability now because beforehand you would use it you basically wouldn't be able to do much unless you already had cards beforehand so it wouldn't be the best green card ever now it's a lot better they did make some other changes like for instance i think goku gets like a little bit more sustained damage coming into the battlefield uh i believe frieza also now gives support to universe rep allies just like goku did because goku already did that now frieza does that too and when tag switching into goku you do also get a strike card guaranteed and you get more key as well so they definitely did give him good changes but also again most importantly the rising rush counter stuff better now because now like even when they're swapped to standby they can lower their own sub count by seven and they cancel enemy buff effects which will cancel stuff like special cover change allocation just as long as it's not uncancelable and all that so they're definitely a lot better now for sure you can make the case they're top five easily now or heck even top three to be honest even better in certain ultras and also with the fact that UI Goku they get a Zenkai they actually can be Zenkai buff now properly on the universe rep team so we're just gonna throw them on the universe rep team alongside the boy Jiren and then of course I guess just Kawhi might as well just have another unit that can provide a little bit of support and all that might as well and of course in terms of the equipment side we're gonna give him this for a good amount of strike attack and defense this right here for more strike attack and special move damage and then the last equip pretty much giving the exact same thing more strike attack and special move damage right there so with that being said top of the matches and see what buffed Goku and Frieza can do in the current meta and see just how good they are now okay the first match of the video going up against a god key team also i just want to point out something i got a comment on one of my last videos i think it was the ui goku video my man said no goat <laughs> like like basically i i, I do realize that the, the, my style of videos at least as of right now as of right now normally my videos are not like this but as of right now because you know certain situations and all that uh, it does feel like dude though. Like the camera angle, it was not intentional at all. I promise you that. All right, this is this is all I got to work with in terms of the setup. Is simple as that. But anyways, in terms of that, we're using Goku and Frieza. Uh, obviously, again, also another change I forgot to mention is now when you tag switch into Frieza, you do get 70% of your advantage back. So finally, that was also another issue that Goku and Frieza, I guess, kind of had as well. It's that they lacked ways of vanish restoration as well, and now they actually have a form of vanish restoration. Goku swapped in, he got a lot more key now, and he drew a strike card, so if I wanted to, I could have even done the strike card if I wanted to as well. And so it's just, again, they're a lot better. Now they flow a bit better now in terms of their tag switches and all that. Now, you know, the rising rush counter is a lot better and stuff, so, you know, they're definitely a lot better. Again, you can make the case they're top five easy, or heck, even top three. I don't know where to perfectly rank them, just because I've used them a little bit just for the showcase, but I haven't really used them that much more, but... We'll see. I don't know. And I don't know if I'm going to get the time to really use them that much more and all that. But we shall see. I don't know. But Jiren's not doing anything versus Ultra Kyle Ken. It was actually kind of nice to see Ultra Kyle Ken finally just because Ultra Kyle Ken's not a character that I see often really at all. I know I use him recently and all that. He's not too bad, but he's definitely still not the absolute craziest and all that. I definitely will say that. But I don't know. It's, he's okay. I guess I do swap in the boys of Mazu. And I'm pretty sure I just actually finished him off right here with the blue card from Goku. And of course, we do nullify endurance with the blue card and all that. So there's that. Something that Z Duo like. Uh, which, by the way, Z Duo apparently did fall off boost. So that's uh, that's interesting for sure. That's very interesting for sure. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video on them though boosted. But all I can say is... Uh, yeah, they're just not going to be that great, to be honest. So yeah, simple as that. We do... What, what, what ends up happening here? Oh, I bait him out. I actually almost waited a little bit too long there. I'm not going to lie. I don't get that strike card in. But at this point, the match is, is pretty much wrapped up. I end up going immediately here. I just swap in Freeze and we get the blue card. And again, you can even see Freeze's vanish literally almost back as well. So again, they didn't get any vanish restoration because, again... Do they have the best tag? No, I think tag four still have the best tag switch synergy in the sense that again You swap into Vegeta you get a super long combo You're pretty much always able to guarantee get back into Goku to then use a blue card and get you like your vanish back either completely or a good portion of it to the point that you're still able to pretty much get your vanish back fully and all that and then then their AOE green cards and all that does work well so I still think tag fours are better in the sense they have a lot better tag switch synergy between their tag switches but Goku and Freeze are definitely the best tag in easily now it's not even close so that being said let's move on to the next one okay and the second one of course we have to fight against the boy Ultra Rose the very toxic man indeed uh himself and all that but at the very least obviously Goku and Freeza can't have advantage over him so it'll kind of help out of course the amount of Rose players I've seen that always lead off 
with a freaking blue card and the, the other do one of two things either they'll dodge immediately like there or they go immediately in terms of, like attacking you immediately and they don't even bother dodging so i didn't know like, there's no way i can know beforehand in terms of, like okay it's just a 50 50. i lost a 50 50 there so unfortunately i didn't get comboed doesn't really matter though because now zamazu's in he dropped comboed again he's just fumbling the bag he has to vanish i catch him the blue card and not necessarily dead, but did almost die, actually, fun fact, so uh, he definitely took quite a bit of damage there, and uh, he just goes and leaves right there. It was way too hungry for the green card, and then I just vanish him, simple as that with Kawhi, and just keep the combo going, simple as that. I do have two green cards, which is a little annoying. I mean, it's not annoying, but it's also, like, I don't want to use them right now. At the very least, I'm able to swap in Jiren, though, again. Jiren getting a blue card, the first green card he gets is just really damn good and it does good damage like look at that rose just lost half his hp i don't remember what the star level was in that rose it was probably like a five star one or an eight star one probably around that range but regardless good damage is good damage that's all i can say simple as that it would be nice if the enemy could rise and rush me or so i can get the uh, the right the, the, the counter i cannot talk man oh my god anyways i just covered him with jiren because i was like right, you're clearly not gonna rush me it could lead into a, a alternate type neutral and all that it could be very bad for me so I thought I might as well just swap in the Jiren. I don't know why I did that right there. Of course, I have a blue card, but it's fine. Jiren's immune, thankfully, to uh, Rose shenanigans in terms of uh, being paralyzed and all. Also, did I just see lightning outside? I think I just saw a slight... Let me know if you guys saw that on camera. There was like a slight flash or something, because I swear I saw something. I just didn't really like pay attention to it fully until like just now or something. But yeah, simple. I don't know. It's, it's storming right now. Or at least it was storming. It's kind of clear now, but it, it was a, a very severe storm for like... Five ten minutes or something. I don't know. Regardless, we catch him yet again with the girl Kawaii. Unfortunately, uh, Goku comes in and all that. Uh, it is what it is. They tried the rising rush, but I just dodged that. That was a very, very bad rising rush. Also, what isn't this match? I, I, I don't know if it was during when I was looking at it. I, I swear they also had a moment where I transformed with Jiren and they tried to throw a blue card with Rose and they did it too late as well. I don't know if that happened beforehand or I don't know because I wasn't paying attention. Just cause, yeah, anyways, this is what you get with the Illusive Corner channel. I just fumble a lot, and I just uh, stutter a lot as well. But you know what? It's funny. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, was it here? No, it wasn't here. I got caught here. That's what happens. Okay, maybe it was earlier that I, they tried to use a blue card rose, and I caught them because they use it too I have no idea. Anyways, at the very least, also, another good thing about this team is this team does have multiple ways of, like, lowering sub counts, so especially with Kawhi as well. Uh, she does actually lower sub count, I guess, as she's getting hit and all of her allies. So that also does... Combined very well with the fact that Goku and Frieza now lowered their own sub count as well with the Rising Rush. Would it have been nice if they could have lowered their sub count by... Was it here? No, it wasn't here. It would have been nice if Goku and Frieza had lowered their sub count completely by 10, like, you know, Z-Duo or Tag Fours. Yes, but you know what? Seven counts lowered is still fine enough and all that, especially when you combine them with characters like Kawaii or, heck, even UI Sign Goku, the Zen Kai Waking now as well, uh, does lower sub counts only by one, I'm pretty sure. But regardless, they can combo pretty well and can definitely make a difference in depending on the situation. Uh, you know, if the enemy rides and rushes you, you bring a Goku Frieza and they get the counter and they're just god beyond belief. Simple as that. Anyways, we rise and rush. Who do we rise and rush? We rise and rush there, Goku and Frieza, because of course their gauge is uh, gone because it's been way past uh, the first 100 counts. Because I'm pretty sure, again, the gauge lasts basically for the first 100 counts of the match, maybe even like a tiny bit more, but roughly around the first 100 counts of the match. Uh, it does last that long, so once you get past that point, you can very easily rise and rush him and stuff. As long as they're not the last one standing, then at that point resets again. But we end up catching him with Kawhi. I guess Kawhi just ended up being somewhat, almost like the MVP of the match. But go and Freeze their thing as well. I'll take it. Let's move on. Okay, and the final match of this video, because again, we only go for three matches around here because uh, current situation only allows me to go for that one. And I'll uh, simple as that. So with that being said... Yeah, Goku and Frieza, again, they're a lot better for sure. They're, they're definitely better. Like, maybe they might not be, like, the changes... I don't know. The, the changes were significant, but also it wasn't, like, the absolute, like... I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. Whatever. They're, they're a lot better now. They're a lot better now for sure. They're definitely the best I left easily. I would have said they probably were the best I left in the game beforehand anyways, but I think it was definitely a lot closer between them. Maybe, like... Some people would argue 17 is the best LF. I know I saw something about Goresh's most recent heroes before the Goku and Frieza buff, keep that in mind, uh, that he had 17 ranked as like the best LF in the game or something, which is definitely interesting. Again, there definitely was a little bit more of a case between those characters, but now it's just easy. Goku and Frieza, I think, are easily the best LF in the game by far. It's not even really that close, to be honest. It, it, I'm glad they did that. We, You know, yeah, they had the buffs and stuff like that, but regardless, I will take it, because now they actually genuinely do feel like 
a character that is worthy of being the headliner for the fifth anniversary and all that, because they're that good now to the point that they can actually truly compete for the Ultras and all that. Who knows? They might even be better. Let me know where you guys rank them. Would you rank them top three or would you rank them like top five or something like that? Like, I don't know. Just let me know where you guys rank them. Let me know what you guys think of Goku and Frieza. Again, I, just, I, do, I do think they're definitely a lot better for sure, and I do quite like them a lot more than what even already what I did beforehand and all that. So there do be that, I guess. Uh, they do get a blue card. Trunks and Vegeta, who... Are they the worst tag? You know, no, I think Z people are the worst tag. I, I know on Twitter I saw something from, from Rayud and saying, like, he has about 14 stars and he just recorded the off boost video and they struggle a lot more. Why wow, they always fumble the units I like the most and stuff. It's. Yeah, Z Duo, yeah, they're just a sad case to be honest. We end up finally catching someone with Goku Freeze, or at least that I saw. No, I did catch him someone earlier. I don't know. Regardless, we killed him. I know, I know again, post commentary. I'm okay at it, but then I get my points where I just I just wander off. Again, beautiful usage right here of the attacks with the Frieza. Got lucky all of that green card, but like we got banished back, so even they want to attack me, I could have dodged again, just picked them out, got the PV and all that. It's just, yeah. Again, Goku and Frieza are definitely a lot better for sure. They're definitely, again, easy top three or top five and all of that. And uh, yeah, it's very, very good indeed. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a great one, y'all.